Oak Grove senior Omari Carr was born 22 minutes before his fraternal twin Jabari. Right over left. They grew up trying to distinguish themselves from one another. A tough task when you're dressed in matching outfits. Whether it was stats in Pop Warner football or super kid buttons in grade school, Jabari wasn't too happy about sharing the spotlight. I was always more of a defensive player and I mean, often so, so, so when he used to always score, I used to be mad sometimes like, man, I want to score too. Nowadays, their competitiveness is a big reason for their success on the field and their bond off of it. As 15-year-old freshmen, the two start on a national champion Pop Warner team. A year later, Jabari burst onto the scene by intercepting eight passes as a free safety for the Eagles varsity squad, while Omari won league MVP as a running back for the JV. They really have come a long way since their freshman year. You know, they've matured, they're working harder, they understand the team concept now more and more, and it's what's exciting to see. Last year, Jabari again received first team All-State recognition among juniors while becoming a triple threat, scoring as a punt returner and sure-handed receiver. Meanwhile, Omari battled through a broken foot and grade issues to make it back in time for their CCS Open Division title game against Gilroy. Omari didn't figure he'd play much, but an injury to starting running back Nevin Gardner changed everything. Right when Nevin went down the first play, I went to, when I went to the sideline, I told him, you got to step it from here on out. Right when he got the ball, first play, touchdown. Omari finished with 26 carries for 130 yards, and two scores in a 46 to 35 victory. I was proud. I was like happy because I want I want people to know who I am. I just hope people I could play for next year. And next year is now. Omari's off-season workouts are paying off as he's rushed for 254 yards and three touchdowns on just 27 carries. He's also a threat out of the backfield. We queue up his 61-yard TD catch in a 40-7 win over St. Francis. And when they do something side and I'm hollering and hooping, and I mean, I'm a proud father, man. I got to, I got to say, it's, it's really been a pinnacle for me in my life. Omari's fast start has him setting, well, ambitious personal goals. 28 touchdowns. I ain't sure some. <laughs> Gosh. 28. Y'all, I'll give you like 10, 12. Uh, will you let me get. <laughs> As for Jabari, plenty of Pac-10 schools are showing interest, thanks in part to his spectacular showing over the summer. He earned MVP awards at both the Under Armour and Stanford Invitational Camps. Playing against the best talent at camps and, and showcasing your talent and getting MVP against those guys, it just shows you how good of a player you are and it gets you really excited for the season because you're going to go up against that kind of talent during the season. And if you can do it at a camp, I believe you can do it in the game. So it was it was real rewarding and real nice. While both are equally proud of each other's accomplishments, when talk turns to video games and females, things get a little heated. I'm not going to lie. Video game part, he got me. On a girl part, I got him on lock. No, I don't, I don't know Because I got that. a bad way. For 18 years, these two young men have stood side by side, constantly competing with and rooting for each other. This season, more than ever, their friendship will be a key to the Eagles' success and securing their futures in college.